Hi everyone, Jennifer Dreen with Deliberate Directions. I am here today to talk to you just a little bit about time management. Um, I recently taught this to my team um, at Gen State Family Eye Care. We were all feeling like we were just kind of running around, putting out fires, not really getting our work done, the true work that we need to do to hit our 90 day goals. And we sat back and we tried to figure out, okay, well, what's causing this? And it came down to just not following some basic principles of following our default calendars. Um, and not prioritizing things in the appropriate way. So Stephen Covey and a lot of other people um, at some point in time have talked about this concept of um, getting things done that are important but not urgent, right? Um, there's other things too, but the good example that he gave um, or that they've given in the past is um, the, this example I wanna show you. So when we're in life, a lot of times what we do is we fill in our day with all of the little bitty things that we need to do instead of first scheduling our big priorities um, in life and work and whatnot. So I wanna show you the example here that they give, um, but first thing is the rocks, right? So literally a rock here, we're gonna put it in container. This is my big goal. These are my priorities at work, my goals for my career, my family life, the things that are the most important and should be taking up the bulk of my time, right? So if you look in here, most people would say that this, this little container is full now. Um, and, and that's true because if we let everything else go, our lives are gonna feel full, even if we don't get any of the rest of the things done, right? These are the important things that make us happy, that make us productive and get things done. So we also have other things that we have to do sometimes. These are things like take our kids to appointments or, um, we have to answer patient questions or calls, things that have to get done, they're important, um, and then sometimes they're urgent, but usually not. So when we talk about these things, this is full, but then we can also add a little bit of rocks in here. Pebbles, if I shake it, when we prioritize our rocks, we still have room for all this other stuff in here, right? And so it's okay if we um, put the rocks first and then add the other stuff after. That way the things we know need to be in here are in here first and then we add all the other things that we can. Then we also have things that are, um, you know, they have, they have to get done, they're not fun, nobody loves them, um, they're gonna take up some time um, and there's still room for those too, but they're not the priority. So we can still fill in our whole box with some sand, with all the other little things that we need to do. So now we've got all this in there. So yeah, now our life is a little bit more full, right? But we still got our big rocks and our big priorities and our big goals accomplished first, the things that are most important for us to do. So, um, and then there's just lots of other things, little distractions, things that we don't need to do, social media, the news, things that we probably don't really need to pay much attention to, we can then add those things in kind of separately. And hey, look, there is still room for those things too, but because we prioritized our rocks, we got those things done first, that we really wanted to, that we're really gonna make a difference, and our life is still full. So it's really important to make sure that we get our rocks done first, add the other things that are important but not urgent, add the other little everyday things that we have to do, and then add the distractors in. If we do it in the opposite direction, what happens is we get the water in first, right? The water goes in, it fills up a certain amount, and in order to get some of the pebbles in, so busy work for the day, we try to put those in, and then what happens is um, it makes some of the water fall out. And then we add in some more, we say we're adding the little pebbles or the sand, and now that's so full that there's now no longer any room for the big things, the rocks, the important things that we really wanna focus on in life. So remember, always put your rocks in first, your big goals, your big projects, the things that are most important in life that if you left everything else out, your life would still be full. Then add in the tasks that have to get done. Sometimes they're urgent some, and they're usually important, but they're not the things that help us fulfill our lives and get the most out of our work. Um, and then we have to add in 
the, the water. So the water being all the other distractors in life that really just don't help us or benefit us in any way. But they're sometimes fun, like social media. So I hope this is helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot me a message at jennifer at deliberatedirections.com. I'd love to chat with you and meet with you. If you'd like some help figuring out how to manage and tackle your time better, I love it. It's my zone of genius. So feel free to give me a call and or an email, and I would love to get in touch with you. Have a great day.